Excelsior Fight Fans, and welcome to KO Fantasy Boxing's video wrap-up of International Boxing Hall of Fame Induction Weekend 2014, Day 1. You know you're at the International Boxing Hall of Fame when you can't get through the parking lot without seeing a Joe Lewis-dedicated van coated in fight clippings and old photos of the Brown Bomber. Your 2014 inductees are as follows. The Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya, Felix Tito Trinidad, the Pride of Wales, Joe Calzaghi, referee Richard Steele, and promoter Barry Hearn, writer Graham Houston, and photographer Neil Liefer. No visit to Canastota is complete without first doing a walk around the Hall of Fame Museum. Despite the massive personalities and out-of-control egos in boxing, the museum itself is modest, but there is an expansion project in the works which includes the addition of a library, which would be an absolute gold mine for the boxing historian. On these plaques, in this hallowed hall, are so many legends of the ring, each representing the story of an individual man's brush with greatness. And when you attend during induction weekend, you will find that year's new class affixed to the wall, taking their place among the other immortalized greats. Probably my favorite thing about Hall of Fame induction weekend are the ringside lectures. And on day one, we enjoyed a pair of them. Uh, one from John H. Stracy and another from Felix Tito Trinidad. Here are some highlights. Uh, but it, it, it just, you know, unless you do it, as I'm sure some will understand, it's such a, a great sport. It's, it's, it's probably the most lovable sport there is, but I mean, you, if you look at the fighters here, everyone grabs each other and everyone hugs each other. You know, they don't do it in football, they don't do it in, in other various sports, but boxers always seem to have this love of each other and this respect of each other, which I don't think any other sport holds. And certainly when you come here, you see it more and more. When I saw Ruben yesterday walk in the hotel, we literally grabbed each other. We can't, I can't understand you, you can't understand me. But what we do understand is a mutual love and trust and respect for our sport that we've done. And I think that's what boxing gives you. It gives you a great background, a great way of, of um, you know, being fetched up with, with boxing. It's just a wonderful sport. I think what it was with me, I, didn't, I wasn't one of them who wanted to be champion after champion after champion after champion. I mean, when I was young, I used to draw posters, blank posters, you know, get a big blank poster like that, and I'd draw, and I'd put my name on, Matt, always Madison Square Garden. And Johnny Stracy then, 
I was the John Axe then, it was John Axe. And I'd write a bill out as a current champion and then an undercard. And then an hour later I'd just tear it out and throw it in the bin and then do it the next night. It was something I think I could see and I really felt that was going to happen and it did. So boxing can really put your mind in a different place. And that's what it did. But don't forget when I was also, I was 13, 14, I was singing as well. I know you've heard me sing, but <laughs> my mum always wanted me to be a singer because it's like all mums, they don't want to see their children or their child get hurt. So she used to plead with me, oh please be a singer, don't, don't box. But the reason I boxed, it was because it was so different to anything I'd ever done. Singing was great and we all love it as you know, but boxing's a challenge. Boxing's a totally different way of life to anything, to any other sport. So that's, that was the challenge to, to try and be a, you know, a boxer, to be, to be very good and, and, it, and it helped. Let's uh, open up some questions for John. Any out here? Oh, right here. Mr. Tracy, welcome back. Uh, love it when you come, and the singing's good too. <laughs> I've got a question about a British fighter. I'm, I'm fascinated by the career of Carl Frosch. Yeah, I was looking at his resume um, not too long ago, and just one after another, his last like maybe 10 to 12 fights is just unbelievable. Yeah. World class, world class. I'm just uh, wondering what your thoughts were on his career, where he, where he like, ranks. Well, I've always liked Carl. Um, he's always been one of our best world champions currently. Uh, and I've seen him many times. I actually was at the fight on Saturday night at Wembley in London. And it was a massive fight. It was 80,000 80, people there. Um, you couldn't see unless she was ringside. Sure. Yeah, you were over there. And I mean, I was looking at the the screen watching the fight. Um, but Carl really has, has really grown the last few years. I mean, as you say, the last 13 fights have been world titles. He's won 11, lost two. I mean, that's a great record. He's won every title there is. And I'm, I'm sure in you know, eight, 10 years time, he will be here being inducted without any problem. But we love him in Britain because he's an honest fighter. And I, you know, I've always gotten up with Carl. He's a very sincere, down-to-earth guy. But his boxing is so tremendous. He's such a strong, physical man. And when you see him box, he's just got one way of boxing, and that's to win. And he's just great to see him. And I was so pleased that he won it because I felt the first fight, he wasn't, he didn't do what he should have done. And the referee, obviously, made a mistake on stopping it when he did. But that's probably why they had an 80,000 crowd there the other day. And uh, then there they But taking that one, I mean, Carl is going to be one of our greats. And uh, I, I really do like him. And he's, as I say, he's a really nice guy. And most boxers are really nice people. They're not big headed, they're not flash. You know, look at Joe today. What a very down to earth guy Joe Kazak is. I mean, so accommodating signed anything. What a, what a great compliment and what a great ambassador for Britain. He is. And while he's here, he's, he's, he's fantastic. And Carl will be the same. He will be exactly the same. He's a very, very nice guy. And uh, Britain love him. I'm very proud to be from Rica. I'm No, 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 El domingo, el domingo va a ser un día muy emocionante para mí, un día muy, un día muy bonito para mí, para mi familia. Sale es muy emocionante, muy bonito para mí, para mi familia. Porque, definitivamente, el premio puede ha sido uno de los títulos mundiales. Porque, uh, to be honest, I had the World Championship titles. Grande victoria. Great victories. Pero el domingo es la victoria más grande. But Sunday is the greatest victory I will have in my career. I just want to know your most satisfying victory in the rain and who was the top of the way that you would like to fight now when you could be fighting.
ringside lecture Felix Trinidad signed autographs for the fans and did an interview with ESPN Deportes inside the ring under the pavilion at Canastota until next time fight fans I'm Alex Pierpaoli <laughs>